Alright guys, today we're doing a carburetor on a Shindaiwa S270 trimmer. Um, it's a weed eater. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take off the uh, air filter cover. Um, I'll put the carburetor on the, uh, in the, in the uh, description below. Big deal. Alright, now we're going to take these two Phillips head screws out. Uh, then you just run this up and around so it's out of the way. It won't come off the cable unless you take the cable out. Um, so next we're going to go ahead and just get this broken loose pair of pliers. You're going to turn it counterclockwise. Apparently this guy had some kind of throttle issue. I don't know what that's all about. We're going to go ahead and unscrew this all the way. So it comes out. Slide right on out. Now see you've got one side that's got the fat section, the other side the thin line all the way down it. If you look inside here, this side's got a little pin for the thin line to go all the way down. And this side is the adjustment screw for the idle, which will go to the fat section to idle it up and down. Just so you know how that goes in. Then you got two allens to take them out. Now we're going to go ahead and cut these OEM tie straps off. Then we're going to take the fuel lines off. Then on the new car we're going to take out its slider. First the cap then the spring slider itself. And hopefully this slider is the same size and the threads are the same size as this. Pop it right on in, just so you know, just take it back out. This thick part right here, the thick slot goes towards the idle screw. So we'll slide it right up on in. When it lines up, it'll slide right down in it, no problem. There it goes, boom, slides right in. Then tighten it down. Usually when you got this much slack, there's a reason like it's pulled out uh, where it belongs down there or you can adjust this up and I don't know how far up this is going to go but it looks like it's going to go pretty far up there yeah so I went all the way up adjust this down tighten it 8 millimeter wrench then with it all adjusted you get full throttle. No OEM zip ties required. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. We're going to go ahead and do the fuel lines. Um, so you take a flat screwdriver and you just fry it up. It takes two hands because I'm just pushing it away. Stick your screwdriver in there, pop it out. Actually, it doesn't want to come out, so I pulled the uh, vent out first and now pop it out. So now we're going to pull this long black line out, new line through it, and then put the fuel filter on the end. Then you're going to pull this line off, the elbow and everything out, and I do the thick line right through this one as well. Um, I go right through with the thick line because it seals it up nice and tight anyways. Just a smidge shorter than the other, the line with the filter. That way I know that this one's a return line and then this one's the filter line. Then we're going to go ahead and shove it back into the gas tank. Backside shoved in and then work your way around with a flat screwdriver, just pushing it in until it's all the way down. In. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and squeeze the vent in to place as well. Looks like, yeah, looks like it just popped right in. All right, short one, long one. This one doesn't have the vent, this one, or doesn't have the filter, this one does have the filter. So the black one is the one that goes to the one without the filter, the short one. Then the one with the filter goes to the brass one. Now we're gonna go ahead, take the Allen bolts, bolt it down. Make sure you got a gasket still in place um, between the carburetor and the intake manifold. The gasket has a little hole that has to line up with the little hole on the carburetor 
and the little hole on the intake. The hole is the vacuum line that runs the fuel pump on the carburetor. All right, so everything before you tighten it all down, so you still loose. Make sure that you got no kinks and no pinched lines. Then tighten it all down. The tank is completely clean, dried out before you put the fuel lines in. It's a step that I missed. Fresh, clean fuel in so that we can prime the the primer ball up and see that we got it hooked up right. So you got the fuel in there. Prime it up. Looks like we're good. It's prime. Then we're going to go ahead and slide the air filter cover back on and uh, screw it down. Two Phillips head screws. New filter cover. Alright, that helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, all the parts that I can find will be in the description below. I found the carburetor on Amazon. Um, I don't know if the grommets or fuel lines are on there. I'll, I'll see. I'll do my best to try to find them for you as well. Um, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want me to wear some business attire yours for some advertising, I need some sponsors. Peace.